All right, what is going on, guys? Got another video here today. Um, the reason why I haven't made a video the last two weeks because I'm in the middle of moving, but a lot of hectic stuff going on. As you can see, I'm in a new garage here, so um, you know that's what's been going on with that. So that's why I haven't had uh, you know any videos in the last like two weeks. But um, today's video, I figured we talk about um, you know kind of you know motorcraft versus Mopar versus. AC Delco, you know, who kind of has more expensive parts and what what kind of brand is the most expensive to own? Now, quite honestly, I always thought like Motorcraft is one of the more expensive ones. That's just my opinion. I know a lot of times for my car, you know, like the alternator, for example, I know an alternator for my car is like 200 bucks. Sometimes you find them, sometimes they're a little bit more, and sometimes they're also a little bit cheaper, like 180, something like that. But generally, because I have a 200 amp alternator, so usually like a like that part right there just for my car is usually like 200 bucks right there as for for instance my oldsmobile even though i know it's an older car so this is kind of going to be like an apple and orange comparison but you know an alternator for that is 100 bucks or 80 bucks so usually parts for that are cheaper even though like i said it is older um for my girlfriend's jeep we were because she had like some low oil pressure we we're trying to figure out what it might be um you know i was calling around to see what an oil pump would be an oil pump for them was like 80 bucks. Now, when I did an oil pump for my car, you'll see a price and it's it's actually about the same, but 80, bu 80 bucks for a fuel pump isn't like that bad. It's a pretty decent price. I mean, if you get a German car, it's gonna be a lot more than that, but that's a whole other topic. Um, but you might be surprised if some of the prices are for these brands. Like I said, I thought Motorcraft was more expensive, but you will see. Motorcraft, in fact, Actually, might be one of the cheaper ones. Now, what I did is I did a bit of a comparison here, okay? Now, I did a 2006 Dodge Charger with the Hemi. I did the Impala 9C1, which is like the police car, the Chevy uh, police car. Um, these are both 2006, and this for this, I just used 2004. I just used the car that I have. Now, I called um, different dealers. I called Ford dealership. And then I called a uh, Chrysler dealership, and then I called a Chevy dealership. Now the funny thing is, and I asked them for the parts for the Impala 9C1, they're like, what's a 9C1? They didn't even know what it was, which I think is kind of funny. They they make those cars, and even know what that even is, but whatever. They had no clue what a 9C1 was. But if you look here, let's look at the oil pump first. The actual oil pump itself is $37.42, which is like crazy cheap. I couldn't believe it was that cheap. Um, the filter and some other hardware came out to like $44. So if you wanted to just do the pump, it'd be 37 bucks. But I recommend if you were to do both, you know, add those together, do that. Um, you know, that's like, I don't know, like 80 bucks, something like that. 87 bucks, something along the lines of that. So that's a, a pretty decent price. Now, if you go to oil pump for the charger, $319, guys. That is, that's crazy expensive. Uh, I couldn't believe how much that was for the oil pump. And then for this, same thing, you can either just get the pump for 152 and then get the, the rest of the hardware for another 30 bucks. So, I mean, you're looking at almost $200 with that. I mean, it's not crazy expensive for an oil pump, but that's, that's pretty expensive, especially on the tur charger. I can't believe how much it was. Um, you know, then you got the water pump here. I tried to do... I tried to do items that all three cars have because I don't know if this has oil coolers. I don't know if this has an oil cooler. Now, also, too, I don't really know. I think there are departments that use the Hemi charger. But I try to just do the three, like, cop cars in a sense. You know what I mean? Because I know, I figured if I'm going to compare, I'll compare it with my car because I know my car. So I figured that'd be the best comparison. Now, water pump, 122. That's kind of expensive. That's not that bad. But compared to these, I mean, you got 160 for the charger. And then a whopping $323 for the water pump for the Impala, which is, like stupid crazy now these prices also might vary with the different dealerships that i called i only called one dealership so i called one for this one for this one for this i didn't call different four dealerships or different you know chrysler dealerships i just called one so i'm sure the prices might actually vary a little bit from dealership to dealership but i figured this would be a good little general you know comparison here um fuel pump I remember was four hundred dollars and I called which I thought was crazy expensive I thought four hundred dollars for my fuel pump was like out of this world but then lo and behold you go to the 
you know, the Dodge here, it's $420 for the left fuel pump and $240 for the right. It literally has two fuel pumps, which is like, I don't know. I guess it's got to pump a lot of fuel to the Hemi. I'm not really sure why it has two fuel pumps. Maybe one of you guys can, uh, you know, share some knowledge on that, but I don't know. That's, that's stupid money for just fuel pumps. I can't believe how much it was. And then this single fuel pumps, 455. So it's a little bit more than, you know, the, the, uh, motorcraft. But I mean, if you look at these prices, like the, the, the Crown Vic ended up being the cheapest, which is once again, I'm surprised because a lot of times for my car, you know, the specialty parts are a lot of money, but I was wrong. I got to admit, I was wrong by quite a bit. I thought AC Delco was going to be the cheapest. Um, that was my thought because I know a lot of times we've ever bought AC Delco parts for, you know, uh, you know, the Oldsmobile or Buick, you know, whatever. Anytime we've ever bought parts, they've been generally pretty cheap. We haven't really had parts that are real expensive, but I don't know. I mean, I guess the proof is right here, guys. I mean, like I said, this is just like a, a stupid little comparison. It doesn't really mean much, but... It definitely kind of gives you a little bit of a, I'll leave that there. Gives you a little bit a, of a, um, a comparison of what they might be together, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really have much experience with other brands buying parts besides the Oldsmobile, to be quite honest with you, because I've only had the Oldsmobile and the Crown Vic as my cars. So, I don't really have too much experience buying parts for newer cars with those brands. I only really have experience with Ford. So like I, like I said, take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt because I'm sure I'll get roasted. I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is just kind of what I, like I said, I called dealerships, kind of got some prices, and this is what I got. And uh, like I said, I, I was quite shocked that Motocraft ended up being the cheaper, at least in this scenario. Now, I know I did 2004 compared to 2006 on the Impala and the Charger, so there might be a, a two-year, you know, maybe that two-year difference, some of the parts are more expensive. I highly doubt it, but because most of the times all the parts for Crown Vicks are interchangeable, so I don't really think that's the case, but who knows? Maybe there's, you know, some dollar differences. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, because I'm really curious to know if you guys have had, you know, any one of those cars. Someone's had a Charger or Hemi or, you know, I'm also thinking, too, if it wasn't a Hemi, it would be cheaper, but I just, I kind of did, like, top of the line. Uh, comparisons. Obviously the Impala isn't like the Impala 9C1 isn't top of the line but um, it's definitely going to be uh, you know a little bit more expensive than say like a base you know regular base model car. So alright let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.